Hi, it's Matt from XL Pro PC, and today I have with me on the table an ASUS S400C laptop, and today we are going to be replacing the battery on it. So let's get this underway. So we've got a number of screws. This is but obviously the bottom of the laptop, and we have a number of screws to take out. There, 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 there. So it's fairly straightforward. Let's just get on with it. And just before you start doing this, please make sure you've got the right sort of screwdriver for the job. Uh, this is a Phillips screwdriver, um, a Phillips screw set that uh, that is on this particular laptop. And let me just dodge around my pop filter. And also before you undertake this, just make sure that uh, the power and uh, the power is not present in the laptop. So make sure you've taken out the power cord because we are going to be replacing the battery. Yeah, we don't want to get any nasty shocks or anything silly like that from replacing the battery. And also, when you're when you are taking apart a laptop like this, uh, you'll see that I'm placing screws to the uh, well to my right hand side here, and I'm putting them back in a place that I know exactly mirrors how they appear on the laptop. Can't exactly show you it now because the webcam is is in position, but um, trust me, it's <laughs> it's going into a, a square container that's uh, and I'm putting the, the screws exactly where they are on the laptop as I'm taking them out. It should be fairly obvious, even though my hand's probably getting in the way a bit, which uh, which screws I'm taking out. It it is fairly obvious from the you know from the from the laptop. So just double check, make sure you've removed all the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. Ten. Yep, ten, ten screws there. So now we need to pry off the bottom of this uh, this laptop. Now, this probably looks fairly easy to you guys. Um, I'll be truthful, I've opened it up before just to see what the job entails. So uh, probably I haven't snapped in all the plastics correctly when I... Uh, but it does need quite a bit of force. Just work your way around from the sort of sides. Um, there's quite a nice little bit of grab in there. Just be careful up here because um, there is there's some plastic vents where it um, obviously exhausts the uh, the heat from the laptop, and I'm, I'm I think that they will be fairly fragile if you just keep ripping them from there. So um, let me just grab another tool. If you are having difficulty, something like this um, little plastic tool kind of looks like a, a thumbnail will help. I myself make sure that I have an extra long fingernail on my thumb just so I can uh, I can get into and use my thumb to to sort of pry open these things. But yeah, if you if you are having difficulty, get one of these little blue plasticky things, and you can just. Pry it open like that without damaging the, uh, the laptop case. Um, some of you people will use metal ones. Uh, if you're a beginner at this, don't use the metal ones. You'll end up putting massive dints in your uh, in your nice laptop. Right, so 
now we are open we have a number of screws to take out again for the battery it looks like it is just one here two here three here four here and it looks like our case actually uh, provided some of the some of the screws for for the battery so let's let's take this out i'm starting from my left hand side here And again, placing them nicely on my little bit of plastic tray from my uh, screw set. Now, some, some, some people will use a magnetic area, sort of mat, for their screws. And yeah, that, you know, they, they tend to work okay for that. Right, so we've taken our screws out. I think there's only... Oh no, we've left one in the middle just there. Really important to make sure you've got all the screws. If you try and take off the plastics from a laptop and you haven't uh, you haven't taken off all of the uh, taken out all of the screws you can lead to uh, <laughs> it can lead to uh, to some problems you might not be able to uh, to actually uh, take it off without breaking it so now then we have this connector here um, I appreciate this camera isn't in the exact isn't in a particularly great position I'll just lift this up so that is the connector is right right there just connecting with the battery so we need to take that off and I'm pretty sure this should just pop straight off so yeah just just get it from one side make sure that you Watch, there's, there are a few components around here. Don't uh, don't get that. <laughs> or you're gonna have big, you're gonna have some problems. And then this should just lift out. He says. Okay. Now, when you're taking it out, make sure that you are pushing it this sort of way. There is a little catch down here um, that keeps it in uh, two little plastic um, thing, little plastic catches that go over the battery so make sure that when you're taking it out you're putting it this way. And there we go. That is how to extract the uh, C31X402 battery for the Zeus. S400C and just because I'm nice I'll show you me putting it all back in again this is the new battery here proper Zeus one C31X402 do make sure that you get the right one uh, make sure that you <coughs> put all the uh, Make sure that the, the sort of batteries are correct, the, the voltages and the ampages, otherwise there are going to be problems. So, and also make sure, like you saw there, that you are putting the battery in the right way. Okay, so again, you need to put it in that way because of these two little plastic catches here. Oh, and make sure it's fit, sitting down firmly. Um, we can probably just clip that on there. So again, it's just a, a, what we call a punch down. Uh, make sure that that is secure. Don't uh, do not do it too hard. There's my screwdriver. Put it all back together. So there's four screws for the battery. Just 
Don't forget this central one here. Voila. And so it is time to put the back. Right on again. Again, so just go around. Make sure that it's all nice, secure and snug. Sorry about that. Someone at the door. <laughs> Typical. Especially when you've just started recording something and you're near the end. So, right, let's put all these screws back in. Make sure that we were actually still got the laptop in the same position as when we started. Otherwise, we're going to be putting the wrong screws in the wrong holes. And I'm not sure it's actually going to matter with this one, but uh, for some laptops, it, it is going to matter. <laughs> You'll be putting massive screws where they shouldn't go and you can totally mess it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that these screws are all the same size. It obviously makes the laptop a little cheaper to manufacture because they're not having to manufacture the uh, different sizes of screws for different parts of the laptop. They can just use this. any old screw. But for the sake of trying to keep things nice and tidy. I've put them all nicely in the right order from exactly the same place where they came out of. And there we go. The battery repair is complete. Well, the battery replacement is complete. Um, again, just make sure once you've done that, make sure that you have gone round. All the plastics are snapped back in position. Normally going round just like that. We'll be fine. And now this is going to go have a nice big charge.